The average speed on EDSA is 23 km per hour. The top speed of a Porsche is around 300 km per hour. And the most expensive Porsche right now is around 24.7 million. So if you're this guy, why would you spend 25 million pesos to go less than 1% of the top speed of your car? Because the appeal of a sports car is not so much that you go fast, but that you can go fast. Not so much that you're a professional race car driver, but you could be in another life. You have the talent, you have the daring, you have the skills. You could be a professional race car driver. Kulang ka lang ng 25 million for your own sports car. With that in mind, say hello to the ultimate sports car of gaming monitors, the ROG Swift Pro PG248QP. This is a 540Hz monitor. Translation, it goes hella fast. It makes you feel very cool just like a sports car. And just like a sports car, you might be wondering, do you really need this much speed in your life? Before we start, as you know by now, ASUS sent us this item for review, but they had no say in what we had to say about it. Now, it's cool that the PG248QP can go up to 540Hz, but it's a challenge getting there. First, this monitor is literally too fast for Windows. To get the max 540Hz, you need to sign up for beta drivers through Windows 11. If all of that sounds like too much trouble, no worries because the standard drivers will get you up to 500Hz. No more mussing around with software or signing into beta tests. So it's just a reduction of around 10% or so from the max refresh rate of this monitor. Aside from software, the second challenge is hardware. My gaming rig is no slouch. It's an R7 3700X with a 3080 GPU. But even with that, and playing games that are not that demanding, I played Counter-Strike 2 and Fortnite, even with all of those favorable conditions, it was a challenge getting anywhere near 540Hz. Fiddling around with some settings in CS2 got me around 300 frames per second. That's very fast already, but even that high number is just around 60% of what the PG248QP could do. I think considering the games I was playing, I was probably CPU bound, but this isn't an optimization video. Just pointing out that if you want this horse to gallop the fastest, you're gonna need some serious horsepower. The monitor uses a TN panel, which means that one, it's darker compared to other types of panels. I did notice that the output in this monitor was a little dark compared to what I was used to, but I only noticed it because I had it right beside OLED IPS monitors. Taken on its own, and for gaming and video consumption, the brightness level is not an issue. The display quality is decent. Again, not quite up to par with an IPS or OLED panel, but that's not what you get a TN panel for. You get a TN panel for blazing fast refresh rates. And yes, this monitor has that. I played at 1080p, max frames per second that I could get from my system. Everything was so smooth, even at extreme frames per second. Now, I filled the monitor up close to help you get a sense as if you were the one actually viewing the monitor. And there are a lot of layers between you, the viewer, and the monitor. The camera, the frames per second I shot at, the frames per second I edited on, your own monitor right now, how stuttery YouTube is, so many layers. But even with all of those impediments, I think you can get a glimpse of just how silky smooth playing on this monitor is. And the images on screen change so fast na nahihirapan yung autofocus ng camera. You can see that there's a lot of playing catch up between what you see on screen and the camera autofocusing. And so we come back to the sports car question, or kamusta ba siya sa gaming? Do you need this much speed in your life? I used to think I was a competent gamer. I grew up playing FPS, but now I'm old and I struggle to compete online. In short, madalas ako mamatay. Da, 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 da. But it was in the middle of dying a lot that I had the best run through of CS2 in my life. Okay, so this first guy, I catch him on his exposed flank. He's looking the other way, he had already taken damage, and I drop him with a few shots. Medyo chamba, just at the right place at the right time. After kill one, my entire team is wiped out. Ako na lang mag-isa versus three remaining CTs. 
For kill 2, we do walk into each other but I react first and start shooting first and by the time I'm crouching, he's already dead. He does hit me but just once. Pure reflex kill. At that range, who can react first usually wins. For kill 3, I catch him out of position with his back towards me but I get to do that because as I turn away from the doors, I see some motion, faithfully rendered by the monitor, which draws my interest. So my first 3 kills, I'll admit good positioning and a healthy dose of luck helped a lot. But kill 4, mano a mano na. One on one, me low health, low ammo, and since abang boy si counter, ako palalapit sa kanya. I see him from afar, we trade a few shots, and I retreat to reload. I have less than a clip left. Straving forward, I shoot off more precious ammo as he ducks for cover. Labas pistol, nakatama ako sa kanya. As I reach the base of the building, I pop a flashbang. I have no idea if he's blinded at all. Ah! But I rush in, my aim is a little off, so counting reposition pa, and finally finish him off with a P90 with 7 bullets left. Is it a coincidence that I had the best game of CS2 in my life using this monitor? Perhaps. Could I have done that without this monitor? Maybe. But what I know is it certainly didn't hurt my chances playing on this very fast PG248QP because I was able to react perhaps a bit faster, even just milliseconds faster, than my competitors online that didn't have this monitor. And the use case for this monitor is not for everyone. Actually, I am the exact opposite. For my own personal gaming monitor, I have an OLED 48 inches with a max refresh rate of 144 Hz. The polar opposite of the pg 248 qp So I am not the target market of this monitor. But even I can feel the appeal of the sports car. What gamer among us doesn't want to feel that rush of speed to go as fast as possible to be the best you can be at a game complemented by the best hardware? So if you're a professional gamer, if you want to feel like a professional gamer, if you want or need the sports car of gaming monitors, the ROG Swift Pro PG248 QP is an excellent choice. Not for everyone, but everyone can feel that rush of speed. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.